A factory specializes in producing a certain type of bolt for an agricultural machine. 10% of the bolts produced are faulty. The bolts are packed into boxes of 50. One of the boxes is chosen at random. Okay, so we look at a box that's chosen at random. N is the number of bolts in this box. P is the probability that any bolt in the box is faulty. That's 10% or 0 0.1. The, if the probability that a bolt is faulty is 0.1, then the probability that a bolt is not faulty is 1 minus P, which is 1 minus 0.1, which is 0.9. So either a bolt is faulty or it's not faulty. I'm letting the random variable X be the number of faulty bolts in a box of bolts. The random variable x follows a binomial distribution with parameters n equals p and p equals 0.1. We know that the probability that the random variable x takes on some value denoted by little x is given by ncx p to the power of x times 1 minus p to the power of n minus x. So little x is a number running from 0 all the way up to n. For our example, the probability that the random variable x takes on the value little x is 50cx times 0.1 to the power of x times 0.9 to the power of 50 minus x, because n is 50 and p is 0.1. And x runs from 0 up to n, n is 50, so x runs from 0 up to 50. So in part 1, we want the probability that x equals 0. So we want to probability that none of the bolts in the box is false. So x is the number of faulty bolts and we want x to be 0. So we just plug 0 into this thing so we get 50c0. We have 0.1 to the power of 0 times 0.9 to the power of 50 minus 0. 50 minus x here. Now 50 minus 0 is just 50. This is just 0 0.9 to the power of 50. 50c0 is 1, 0.1 to the power of 0 is 1. Actually, any number c0 is 1. So you don't have to try to work this out. And any number to the power of 0 is 1. So we just get 0.9 to the power of 50. And that makes sense. You know, um, the probability that a bolt is not faulty is 0.9. It's the probability that it's not fa faulty. And since we're dealing with 50 bolts, the probability that all 50 are not faulty is 0.9 to the power of 50. We're dealing with independent events. So we multiply uh, 0.9 by itself 50 times. It would be like, what is the probability of getting heads in 50 tosses of a kind? We would put 0.5 to the power of 50 because we're dealing with independent events. What is the probability that at least 48 of the bolts in this box have no faults? Now, what I mean by P of 48 here is the probability that exactly 48 bolts have no faults. But the probability that exactly 48 bolts have no faults is the same thing as saying that the probability that the number of faults in a box is 0, or sorry, is 2. So this probability here is actually corresponding to this because x is the number of faulty bolts in a box. And if there are two faulty bolts in a box, it means that 48 bolts have no faults. So there's exactly two faulty bolts, exactly 48 bolts have no faults. So this probability statement here refers to um, the, uh, no, the no fault situation, the situation where a bolt has no fault. So we're talking about at least 48 of them having no faults. So that means either 48 of them have no faults, or 49 of them have no faults, or 50 of them, that's all of them, have no faults. So we're dealing with these three probabilities. We need to add these together. So these are the three possibilities. So we add them together to get a greater probability than either of them alone, which makes sense because we have more possibilities to consider. So the probability that 49 of the bolts in this box have no faults is the same thing as saying the probability that the number of faults in the box is 1. So 49 bolts have no faults it means that one bolt has a fault. So this probability is equivalent to this. 
and finally p50 is the probability that 50 bolts in the box have no faults that's the same thing as saying that uh, no there are no faulty bolts in a box and we've already calculated this so we already calculated this probability here we got 0.9 to the power of 50 for the probability that x equals 1 we just plug 1 into this so we get 50 c1 times 0.1 to the power of 1 times 0.9 to the power of 50 minus 1 so this power is 49 uh, for this probability we just plug 2 in for x so we get 50 c2 times 0.1 to the power of 2 times 0.9 to the power of 50 minus 2 that's 48 to three decimal places the answer is 0 0.104 the production is performed by two machines A and B 65% of the bolts are made by machine A so I'm showing machine A here and 65% is the number of or the percentage of bolts produced by machine A 35% of the bolts are made by machine B 85% of the bolts produced by machine A have no faults so 85% of no faults which means that 15% are faulty from machine A now we don't know the breakdown for machine B but we do know that overall 10% of the bolts are faulty so 10% of all the bolts so bolt is either produced by machine A or machine B a bolt is randomly chosen from the total production of the factory it is tested and found to be faulty what is the probability that this bolt was made by machine A so the total production of the factory involves both machines A and B a bolt is randomly selected it's found to be faulty so that means it's it, it, well it either came from machine A or B so we want to find the probability that it came from machine A now rather than thinking of this in terms of probabilities let's just term think of it in terms of frequencies suppose we have 100 bolts in total now I pick 100 because it's a nice round number and it's easy to calculate percentages of it now we are told that 10% of the bolts in the factory produced by the factory are faulty 10% of 100 is 10 so 10 bolts from the overall production of the factory are faulty now since 65% of the bolts come from machine A then 65% of 100 or 65 bolts come from machine A we know that 15% of the bolts from machine A are faulty so that means that 15% of the 65 bolts that come from machine A are faulty 15% of 65 is 9.75 so 9.75 bolts that are faulty come from machine A so you can see that almost all the bolts that are faulty come from machine A because there are 10 bolts in total that are faulty and 9.75 of them come from machine A so that means the remainder must come from machine B so that means that 10 minus 9.75 which is 0 0.25 bolts are from machine B anyway to answer this question what we do is we put the number of faulty bolts that come from machine A which is 9.75 over the total number of bolts faulty bolts from the production of the factory that's 10 so divide by 10 just move the decimal point we get 0.975 so I think this is the easiest way to understand this kind of conditional probability problem so what you should do is just pick the number 100 and just do counts of things out of 100 now let's do it using this probability formula which is more difficult to understand I'm, A stands for the event that a bolt is produced by machine A F is the event that a bolt is faulty we're interested in the probability that a bolt comes from machine A given that it's faulty 
So we get the probability of this event and this event, A and F, written like this, divided by the probability of F. So what is the probability that a bolt comes from machine A and is also faulty? Well, that's equal to 0.65 multiplied by 0.15. So we get the probability that it comes from machine A. Well, 65% of them come from machine A. So the probability that a randomly selected bolt comes from machine A is 0.65. And given that it comes from machine A, what is the probability that, that it's faulty? Well, 15% of these bolts is faulty, so the probability is 0.15 that any bolt from this machine is faulty. So we get a much smaller probability when we, when we multiply these together. Now we divide this by the probability that a, bo a bolt is faulty. P of F means the probability that a bolt from the total production of the factory is faulty. And we know that that is 0 0.1 or 10%. Because 10% of the bolts uh, from the overall production are faulty. And this checks out to 0.975 as before. Let's look at a Venn diagram of this last problem. And I'm going to use the frequency interpretation. So our universal set consists of 100 bolts. Again, I choose 100 because it's a nice, easy number to work with. We know that 65% of the bolts come from machine A. So this section, or square, or whatever, rectangle, if you like, is a subset of the universal set. It has 65 elements in it. So you could imagine. 65 dots, one dot for each bolt. And this subset of U represents bolts that come from machine B. Since 65% of the bolts come from machine A, then 35% must come from machine B. So there are 35 bolts in this set. Now, F is the set of bolts that are faulty. And we know that 10% of the overall production from the factory consists of faulty bolts. 10% of 100 is 10. So we, you could imagine 10 dots in here, each dot representing a bolt, and there are 10 bolts. Now we know that 15% of the production of machine A are faulty bolts. 15% of 665, as we saw before, is 9.75. So the number of elements in here is 9.75. That means that the number of elements in here is 0 0.25, because the total is 10. So when we calculate the probability of A and F, what we are doing is randomly selecting a bolt from all the bolts, which is 100, and finding the probability that that bolt comes from this set here. So we put 9.75 over 100 to get 0 0.0975. So that's the numerator of our formula. When we calculate P of F, we're randomly selecting a bolt from these 100 bolts. 10 of them are in here. So the probability that we select a bolt from inside this set F is the number of bolts in F, which is 10, divided by the total number of bolts, which is 100. So we get 0 0.1. And then we just divide this number by this number. Of course, an easier way to think of this is to realize that we're just selecting from this set here. You see, we want the probability of A given that the bolt is faulty. So we're conditioning on the event that the bolt is faulty. So we're just selecting from this set. So we're just selecting from 10. So we make a random selection from the 10 bolts. Each bolt is equally likely to be chosen. What is the probability that we select a bolt from here? So we just put the number of bolts in here, which is 9.75. 
over the total number of bolts that we're selecting from, which is 10. Sorry, that's 0.975, of course. 